Hi, everyone. Time to get into it. NBA action on 2K Sports. I'm Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. From the sideline, our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. DA, take it away. Kevin, thank you. Chris Middleton has been underrated for so long that now is he rated? Giannis Adentacumpo said, people don't know how much Chris has sacrificed for this team to be great. He could easily be a 25 point per game scorer in the league, but he just wants to win. He knows that by doing that, everything else is going to take care of itself. Kevin? Well, he's an all-star teammate, David, as you point out in that story. Thank you. A moment now to look at the year-to-year -year scoring output and how it has been trending for Dennis Schroeder. And maybe it's shocking, maybe, well, maybe not too shocking, but the scoring trend over the last few years has been going down a bit. I'm sure it's something he's well aware of, and we'll see if that continues to be the case. Here are the starters for Milwaukee. And forward, they have Middleton and Giannis. Allen is out there with Holiday, and it's Portis in at the five, roaming the paint. And for Houston, out on the perimeter, Green and Gordon. Jay Sean Tate out there with Wood, and it's Wall in at the point. Clark for both teams tonight, unbelievable talent up front. Kevin, you're right. I love seeing what we have in store in the paint area in this matchup. I think that's likely where this game is going to be decided. So the Bucks win the tip. Now Middleton. And you can see his scoring totals. Those are some pretty good numbers. He's putting up close to 15 points a game on average. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on John Wall. That is his first foul of the game. Dennis Schroeder's checked in for John Wall. Dennis Schroeder. Here's Holiday. And he can be counted on to put some points on the board every night. He's averaging right around 13 and a half points a game. Well, he's like an eel slipping into the paint. Drew Holiday glides past the other guys and gets himself right to the bucket. And Green gets it to go. And good to get him going early. That, that shot Green. should give him some confidence. Perhaps he's set for a big night. I mean, he can be a difference maker for him when he's on his game. Jayshon the Tate. foul on Jay Sean Tate. That's his first personal foul. That's his first foul. Second team foul. On defense, Houston. Outside, Portis passes it to Giannis. Five on the clock. Fires from 14. He trains it as the shot clock ticks down. And it's hard not to commend the calm nature and demeanor of the Greek freak. I mean, even in pressure situations, Antetokounmpo never seems to get outside of himself or never seems to give in to what the defense is trying to do to disrupt him. Now here is Holiday after the miss from Dennis Schroeder. Onto the Kumbo. That's a two-pointer and misses it off the right side of the rim. And it's Schroeder with the ball. He brings it up for the Houston Rockets. Coming off that loss against the Nets. Painful to watch, guys. You could see their frustrations mounting, unable to get into any kind of a rhythm whatsoever. Yeah, they had no answer for them. They simply got outplayed and outworked. And how about that? What a sensational finish. Hey, you you got to be able to get some hang time to do that one. Yeah, to glide in and reverse it home like that, so sweet. Now, here's Portis. Looking at his point production, he averages almost eight points a game. Yeah, you won't see him miss many dunks unless you've got somebody right in his face, as was the case there on that possession. And then Gordon with the dunk. I like how Gordon stays low to the ground, keeps that center of gravity anchored. Quick driving inside, and excellent finishing at the basket. Holiday with it. Tate covering. Portis trying to free himself. They get it back. He gets Green that one. Holiday. Holiday's got his second bucket of the game to go. Excellent activity and timing on the offensive glass. That's how you get extra possessions. Gordon against Middleton. From 13. And it's Gordon missing. Well, that's a rare miss for him inside. He may have just rushed it a bit. Maybe lost concentration, too. 
Gordon against Giannis. And the dunk by Giannis. Boy, that is some kind of heads-up basketball from Holiday. He does not sleep on the wide-open man and found him perfect. And Holiday just does so much on the floor. But for me, defense is his number one attribute. He's arguably the best perimeter defender in the league. Wood a screen on Middleton. And change shot. Offensive rebound. You know, at the end of the day, size does matter, especially on the glass. Allen passes to Portis. Holiday looking for an opening. Got us a screen on Wood. Here's Middleton. It's pulled in by Wood. Holiday, an elite defender, Greg, as you said, makes life difficult for opposing guards. And he does a great job of playing D with his feet. Comes up with some blocks and steals each game as well. Never gets lost on a play. Here's Middleton. The Rockets making the shot. And there's the pass to Antetokounmpo. It's stolen by Tate. The drive by Gordon. Uses the glass to finish the lane. Gordon doing a nice job measuring these inside shots well. I mean, has a solid, quick release pretty much from anywhere on the floor. Now here's Allen. 17 points for him last game against the Heat in Miami. Giannis kicks to Allen. And again, the Bucks miss. Houston leading by three. Schroeder dishes to Gordon. Wood a screen on Middleton. Goes up at the stripe. Great tee that time for Middleton. The shot's there for him, and he's got to take it. I don't care if he doesn't convert. That's a shot he has to continue to take. Now here's Giannis. He's coming off a 16-point game against the Heat in Miami. And he was terrific in that game defensively as well, blocking four shots on the night. Now Schroeder after Chris Middleton missed from long range. The drive by Schroeder has to Wood. The shot's good on the assist by Schroeder. Schroeder's got three assists no in the game. Timeout. It's time for T-Shirt. And your Club City turned out for him averaging about 11 points four assists and two rebounds and he's very steady with that second unit running the offense and getting them into their sets right I mean your backup point guard simply has to hold the fort maintain the status quo share the basketball and minimize mistakes and the Bucks with possession here it's a five point game they're moving on after the tough loss they took at the hands of Miami. You know, I don't like to use the word shock, but that was a shocking result for me. Nobody saw that one coming. To lose to that team was surprising enough, but to get blown out like that? I know. I mean, I'm with you there. It just seemed as though they were sleepwalking their way through that entire game. In my 
estimation, just inexcusable. The for the box. And guys, what do you think about the offensive okay. approach so far that we've seen for the Rockets? The line for two. You know, guys, we've really seen them do a lot of damage in the paint so far. And also another Good aspect shot. of their game that's been super so far tonight is how they've been sharing the basketball. And the first one drops. And Greg, at this point in the year, if your system overall doesn't seem to be working, how much can you really change before the offseason? Well, usually a system change would come with a coaching change, but sometimes it's not the system. And sometimes you just need a different voice. And keep in mind, you also have to evaluate that roster and find out if the players on that roster are a good match for the system. And something that gets forgotten with Brooke Lopez, he is still a strong rim protector. I agree with you, Greg. Because he shoots the three and he's not a dominant post guy, it's easy to forget about his defense, but he's got excellent timing and good length and not afraid to mix it up. Either. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. Here's Norwood. 14 points from him the last game against the Heat in Miami. And made a big mark at the free throw line as well. He got himself to the strike a lot and cashed in when he had his chance. And the rejection by Ibaka. Just insane length and leaping ability. Ibaka can reject shots from anywhere on the floor. Mora, the pass to Connaughton. Ibaka with a screen on Porter. Connington kicks to Matthews. Four on the clock. Pulls it from the elbow. Rockets with the rebound. They're getting their first look of the season at the Bucks in this one. And with this matchup being an East versus West affair, it'll be the first of only two meetings between the teams. And, you know, there's always a bit of a feeling out process in that first game between opponents. A lot different than when you've played a team you're familiar with. And the Bucks with possession here. Following the score by Houston. Back to Matthews. No good that time. And the Rockets take it the other way. Upside Martin. Off target there. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. Bucks trail by eight. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. Pass to Nora. Passes to Lopez. Here's Nora. Off target with his three. Here's Christopher. No points in the game yet for him. And the shot goes in. And now a 10-point Houston lead. <laughs> Defensively, they've got to pick up the intensity. Hard to win surrendering this high of field goal percentage. Yeah, you've got to turn up the dial on the intensity at the defensive end if you're them. I mean, it's still early, but I agree with you. It's he shares a pass out. And your club.
a chance here to check out some stamps for Giannis Antetokounmpo. He's been playing a much bigger role in their offense over the past five games. It comes across in his usage rate, which has gone up during that stretch. We'll see if they continue to lean on him here tonight. One fifty three left in the first quarter of the game. And here's Matthews. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. And it's on a bound for the Bucks, able to retain possession here. Here's Norrell. He's covered by Matthews. Really having a difficult time getting anything to fall. Boy, you've got to give credit to the defense. I mean, this is where you want to really work for quality looks. Try to get that confidence back. The pass to Shengu. And Martin now top of the key. Shot clock at six. And a wide open look for Porter. From outside, off the mark. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also going their way. Well, I don't think there's any question about it. They came focused and ready to play. I mean, they're doing everything they can to um, put things in their favor. You earn that. They're actually earning it well right now. Two second in rebound. Fifth in steals. And they are in the top third in the league in blocks. Rim protection, obviously important to them, and they have the horses to do it. You talked about their rebounding. In a lot of games, their dominance on the boards is what's swung the outcome in their favor. And he knocks down the first one. Good on the second, so he makes them both. And so it's Porter bringing it up now for Houston. They're leading by eight. At the elbow, it's Matthews. Martin against Ibaka. And it's Martin missing. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. Connaughton passes to Lopez. 26 seconds left to play in the first quarter. And it's off the back rim. No good. Rockets leading by eight. It's stolen. Here's Nuoro. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Porter with him. Over Matthews. And no good on the last second attempt this time. And so it's the Houston Rockets holding on to an eight-point lead heading into the break. They've been playing some inspired defense, giving up very few easy points. And don't go away. We'll be right back. There's one weakness for Giannis Antetokounmpo. It's perimeter shooting, but as he makes clear, he can't hesitate. Try to keep shooting, try to keep making plays, keep finding the open man, and uh, obviously the ball going going eventually. Uh, you know, it's a season, and there's going to be games that you're not going to play your best. Uh, you're not going to knock down shots, but at the end of the day, we find ways to win, and uh, got to keep shooting the ball. Got to keep shooting the ball. It seems certain defenses will continue to dare him to launch from outside. And the lesser of two evils. The way he can attack the rim, you could argue that'll continue to happen no matter how much he improves his shot. And for those of you just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. And looking at what we've seen from Houston, what do you guys think? 
aggressive at running guys to the backboard. You could tell it was part of their game plan coming in. Yeah, and you know, when a team establishes an edge on the glass early, it really sets things up for the rest of the game. We've got Dennis Schroeder, Matthews out there with Jay Sean Tate. Then it's Christian Wood, and it's Green in at the two guard. That's the five for Houston right now. And he makes the first. And a lot of players want a voice in team strategy. And I've always wondered, Greg, is there a downside for coaches letting their players get too involved? I mean, there is a belief that you can have too many cooks in the kitchen, right? But if a player knows his stuff, it's worth at least hearing them out, if only to keep those open lines of communication. And the first thing you notice about Green, the next level athleticism, incredible burst off the dribble and make smooth adjustments midair. Now here's Allen. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Out of the Kumbo finds Allen. Off target from outside. Solid rebound there. And with the score like it is, that's an area where they can't afford to get lazy. Yeah, another column in the stat sheet that hasn't gone in their favor. To climb back, they've got to put forth more effort. Out to the right wing. Here's Tate. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Tate's only got five. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. Well, when you look at the assist totals, Chris heck, they've been clearly the better team. And one can only imagine what Green will be like great with a little time. He's still refining his shot release, still working on getting others involved. But we haven't seen a two guard into the league with this much potential in quite some time. Here's Wood. The short one's on the money. Wood's got his second basket. Well, we talk about it all the time. Hard work pays off, and Wood works extremely hard to fight for the finish he wanted there. It's stolen by Green. And oh, here we go with Green. Nobody back. Doesn't go for him. Excellent D there from Allen. Here's Holiday. It drops for his third Drew basket. Holiday. He's missed only one shot. Some nasty handles from Holiday, leaving the defense shaking its head and all. Pass to Matthews. Pass to Tate. Wood is green on Giannis. And the rejection by Giannis! And this quarter, he has clearly been off the mark. And Antetokounmpo is really an absolute terror in the open floor. I mean, love seeing a guy his size run the floor the way he does. Wow. Impressive. Now, here's Matthews. He had a 12-point out in their last game against Brooklyn. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye-opening. Here's Allen. Antetokounmpo setting the pick for Allen. Played in with a nice touch Great off the glass. Allen. Allen's got his first two points of the night. I like the play call. Very solid. Making perfect use of the pick to get a great look. Here's Green. Rebounded by the Bucks. Ande DeCumbo's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Launches it. Tate with the rebound. Houston leading by eight. Back to Schroeder. Wood is green on Hubbard. Just five on the clock. Inter passes to Wood. Shoots over Portis. Wood can't hit. Bucks trail by eight. And Holiday has it in the corner. This one for three. Connects from three point range. Holiday. Holiday's got nine. With deep range and a wide arsenal of moves, Holiday keeps defenders off balance.
bench here. Gordon's checked in. And it's never too early to start looking at our contenders for this year's dunk contest. There's no doubt it'll be a terrific showdown of some of the game's best athletes. And it seems like each year the bar keeps getting set higher. I mean, more props, crazier concepts to the competition, the level of dunks. I think this is going to be a good one. You look at Green. And I know he'd like to make a move up in the consideration he's got all the athleticism you hope for from a dunk contest participant. He sure does. Lots of competition, though, in the running this year to get that big invite. So there you go. And as it's looking, this year's dunk contest is shaping up to be a fantastic competition. We'll keep you updated on the voting. No doubt it's going to be a good one, Kevin. We've got players on that list who'll do things that you didn't even think were possible. Now here's Allen after the miss from Dennis Schroeder. Allen kicks to Portis. Pushing it up. Floats it up for Wood. Trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense in anticipation there to stop. Outside Holiday. Passes it to out of the Kumbo. Fader on the way. Out of the Kumbo setting the pick for Holiday. Just four to shoot over Gordon. It's hauled in by Wood. Wood's got six rebounds here tonight. Middleton against Gordon. Driving inside. Houston needs to get a shot from deep green. Bucks foul. He is checked in for Grayson Allen. Second team foul. Buck substitution. So it's the Rockets now. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. Outside for Martin. Clock at four. Can they get it? Under the Kumbo grabs the miss. Under the Kumbo's got eight rebounds in this game. Now the pass to Holiday. He dishes it to Under the Kumbo. Pass to Holiday. Here he goes. Count it. Holiday's got seven points here in this quarter. And it's Porter with the ball for the Houston Rockets. It's a three-point game. Here's Christopher. And the layup's good off the glass. He does not lack for confidence. He shouldn't. I mean, this guy's a dangerous scorer. Here's Holiday. Rockets with the rebound. Boy, he really bungled that finish. Kevin, I don't think we can overstate how big a deal it was for Holiday to come to the Bucks. I mean, this team went after him hard, and you can see why. He's such a terrific all-around player and a great leader as well. The D just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim. There's a reason, G.A., the lead is what it is right now. You know, you look at it, the communication is lacking, as is the trust. They can ill afford those types of breakdowns. It won't work. You can't win with those kind of breakdowns. Here's Middleton. The Rockets making the shot. Kick out to Giannis. It's hauled in by Wood. And Holiday was a hot name when he went on the trading block. Bucks paid the big price to get it. And I think trading for him helped secure Giannis long term, quite honestly. He really does complement this roster. Here's Connaughton, right now averaging about five points a game. Outside Holiday. Portis is screen on Port. Holiday goes in. Middleton for three. He can't get that one. And it's Houston the other way. Martin finds Gordon. He takes it in. Great D that time for Middleton. And, and typically he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that possession. Holiday against Porter. Side holiday. Here's Antetokounmpo to end the drought. 
It's hauled in by Wood. Wood's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Pass to Christopher. Two minutes inside. And one. That one goes careening off the glass. Hey, when Giannis is lurking nearby, you got to be careful because his wingspan can erase a lot of shots. Portis sets the pick for Middleton. A minute 42 left in the second quarter. Off the mark with the outside fadeaway. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. Martin dishes to Gordon. For Middleton. And it's Gordon missing. You know, guys, you can tell he wants to contribute more, but his teammates have picked up the slack for him. That's what being on the team is all about. Now here is Holiday. 11 points in the game. This is a Giannis. To the middle. Let's a floater go. Who's back up? And it's good on the way in. Adet de Kumbo has got four points now in the quarter. You know, gifted with what seems to be a limitless reach, the Greek freak can get to offensive rebounds that most others only think about getting to. Bucks trail by five. On the wing, Holiday, guarded by Porter. The pass to Connaughton. Kumbo with the ball. Connington kicks to Portis. From deep onto the Kumbo. And the rebound goes to the Rockets. Woods got 10 rebounds here tonight. It's so accurate. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. This is his first free throw of the game. 13 foul. At the line for Houston. Kenyon Martin Jr. Taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw, no good. Wow. What, did he have something in his eye on that shot? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> No luck that time either. And they're really getting more points at the free throw line here in the second quarter. Definitely, that's one of the reasons they're in front right now. Matthews standing the floor. And here's Green outside. And no good that time. So that'll be it for the first half. Fairly even battle underway in this one. Rockets ahead, leading by five. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. 28. Thanks, guys. Here with Coach Budenholzer. Mike, your evaluation of the first half. Well, I think both teams' defense is pretty good. You know, hopefully somebody can catch a rhythm here and score some points. Um, you know, hopefully we can be better there. And that'll be key as the game goes on, Coach. Thanks. Back to you. All right, David, thank you. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. Hey, everybody, let's talk standout performances. What a first half it's been for Christian Wood. You know, guys, he's reminding me of myself, a true R butter. And if you don't know what that stands for, I'll tell you. I can't tell you because I just made it up, but it sounds good. Chomp, chomp, chomp. And let's take a moment now to look at the upcoming schedule. What's on the docket? I hope they see the upcoming road games as an opportunity to spend time together and build trust. The ties you make with your guys on the trip can really strengthen the squad, like me and you, Ernie. Forget Kenny. Me and you are tight. And that's our halftime show. Thanks to the Big Diesel. Well, thank you, Gomer Powell. Well, does that make me the sergeant? I got to get the order around here, Ernie. Shaq, where were you going with Gomer Pyle? I don't know, Ernie. Is that a good accent or not? Probably not. Shazam, shazam! <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Never a dull moment, folks. We'll see you later.
And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, the second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams try to gain an edge. An exceptional performance from Drew Holiday. You just love the patience in that first half. Waited until he got the look he wanted. Well, you know what, guys? It was all about efficient offense, not rushing things. Taking your time, finding the best shot on every possession. And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. Well, we've got a moment. Let's set the floor. Brought to you by Gatorade All Field Up for the second half. On the court for the Bucks. Long-time teammates Middleton and Giannis, the forward. Holiday out there with Allen. And it's Portis in at the center position. And the rebound battle split evenly thus far. Yeah, tit for tat on the glass. Just one more aspect of what's been a very closely contested ball game here. Back to Anadokounmpo. It's hauled in by Wood. Rockets leading by five. And the whistle blows on the backcourt violation. He went over and back. Probably a chance to check out the standings out west. Already we're in December. You look at Houston. They're still struggling, trying to string something together, getting a lot of wins. The competition, though, is so tough. Here's Holiday. 11 points in the game. There's the dish to Giannis. Outside Portis. The shot by Middleton. Wide open. And it's off from three-point range. The drive by Green. And here in the second half of play, we're just over a minute in. He is single-handedly dropping the temperature in here with that cold streak. And he's got to find other ways to contribute then because his shot making is not happening right now. Now here's Allen. He's averaging just around eight and a half points a game. Here's Antetokounmpo. Milwaukee, no good that time either. You know, not sure if he's playing to the crowd, but, but no need for the fadeaway on that shot. Gordon, the pass to Green. Ball against Holiday. Would a screen on Holiday. Five to shoot. And the foul called on Antetokounmpo. That is his first foul of the game. That's his first. Then the is checked in for Houston. First the Bucs also with the sub. Ibaka is checked in. Here's Wood. He's making his presence felt offensively with his scoring average up there at almost 13 points a game. He had stolen by to Kumbo. Over in the corner, Allen. Yes, and it's Holiday with the assist that time. Allen's got the first bucket of the third here for the Bucks. Gordon, the pass to Tate. Back to Gordon. the wing green just three to shoot shot from 12 no good on the shot a bit long that time and so Giannis will bring it up for Milwaukee they haven't given up any points here in the second half Houston's gone 0-2 from deep to start things here in the second half and for Dennis Schroeder playing in the NBA was a promise fulfilled to his dearly departed father. Greg, how about this? As a young man, he swore to his dad that he'd make it. And after his dad's passing, Dennis discovered a note from his dad encouraging him to continue to follow his dream. Throws down the, the alley oop slam. Great game for him. Double, double down. Charge, two, 10 two, points two. and 15 rebounds. Hey, man, who wants a free t shirt? Make the ball.
your Clutch City Texas. Milwaukee making a switch. Jonathan's checked in. And a chance here to take a look at the numbers for Shrews. Putting up about 10 points a night, five assists, and three rebounds. And every team wants a score to give them a lift off the bench, and, and that's just what he brings. Well, he's instant offense. I mean, the game's momentum can be going one way, then bam, the scoring turns the tide. Three minutes gone now in the third quarter. For Houston, they've gone 0-3 and are still looking for that first bucket here in the second half. Green, the pass to Schroeder, and the whistle blows. It'll be on Pat Connaughton. That is his first foul That's of the game. Matthews, he's checked Second in for Gordon. Foul. Middleton against Matthews. Lock at six. Jacks up a three. Milwaukee with the rebound. Next up for them, the Knicks, a road game in New York. In the midst of a four-game road trip right now. That'll be game number three. And the shot is good. You know, when Giannis is being this aggressive on offense, he can be really hard to stop. Defense needs to make an adjustment. And Schroeder and the rejection by Giannis. And Connaughton has it in the corner. Rockets with the rebound. Woods got rebound number 12 here already in the game. Loads it up for Wood. Hammers the alley-oop through. Wood flying up to slam down the alley-oop emphatically. Here's Allen. Five points in the game. Middleton outside. Giannis dishes to Middleton. Good. And it's Giannis picking up the assist. Three. Middleton's got his second bucket tonight. Man, it's obvious that Middleton has great confidence. I mean, you can just see it oozing out of him. He's so good at catching the defense off balance and knocking down the catch and shoot jump shot. Schroeder, and it's blocked by Ibaka. And he recovers it. Wood with the screen for Green. Pass to Wood. Houston moving the ball around. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. And while we've got a chance, let's check out the stats for Anitokounmpo. Fifth in rebounding, seventh in scoring, and he's also ranked in the top ten in blocks per game. No trespassing when he's in the lane. And he's so explosive, so hungry. You really can't keep him off the glass when he wants to get there. That's why he's top five in rebounding. Loads it up for Giannis. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt there. Time to break that ice cold streak. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Tate's only got seven. I love the determination he showed there, getting himself into good position under the glass. With the presence of mind to know just where the rebound was going to come down. Well timed. And then the nifty touch to tip it in as well. Now here's Schroeder. He gives his team some nice contributions, averaging a bit over 10 points a game. Put a screen on Giannis. Now, here's Tate, guarded closer. That doesn't go either for Schroeder. And so it's Middleton with it. He brings it up for the Bucks. Just four points. That's all they've given up here in the second half. Oh, great ball movement there. So it's the Rockets now. They trail by three. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Fans, the lot is set to get free t-shirts. Let's see who's going to play. All right, let's see who's coming out of the court. Get loud for your play.
2K leaderboard. If you want to talk defense and talk block shots, just have a look at these teams, what they've done the last month. Fifth best, the Bucks. They have been racking up the blocks lately. I mean, if they keep this up, they're going to be a very difficult matchup for anybody. feet away and it's Schroeder missing and the stroke definitely lacking confidence this quarter nothing on target Connington kicks to Matthews Lopez sets a screen for Matthews can't hit that one the Rockets go the other way with it to the inside and it's Martin missing here's Milwaukee now they're on a 12 to 4 run right now. And Brooke Lopez, such a great complimentary player, Greg, get right in with this team. And he gives you good scoring with great efficiency. Very low turnover numbers. Everything you want from a role player. And so here is Houston following the bucket by the Bucks. Porter inside. He's covered by Matthew. And the shot is good. The Bucks lead has been cut down to three on the bucket from Porter. Ibaka outside. Pass to Lopez. To the paint. Here's Connaughton. Nice pass. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. Connaughton's got the lead up to five now for the Bucks. Porter passes to Schroeder. Always going up for the LU here. Here's Connaughton. Passes it to a buck to the right side. Lopez kicks to Connaughton. Back to Lopez. Shot clock at five. And it's good. Two points. Lopez. Now it's a seven-point Bucks lead. And a breakdown here, guys. The hustle stats for the Bucks. Boy, their hounding, harassing effort to the defensive end. Very impressive. And they forced quite a few turnovers as a result. They have, but you also can't overlook how well they defended the rim. As they've challenged every shot, and also gotten quite a few blocks as well. Here is Matthews following the basket by Brooke Lopez. And they'll turn it over. Could not get off a shot. 24-second violation. An outstanding defensive play to earn the mobile one block. And big defensive plays like that will help them stay in control of this one. Portis, he's checked in for Milwaukee. Holiday comes in for Pat Connaughton. And it's Milwaukee's ball. They're on an 18-6 run. And the pass to Portis. It's good. The assist that time from Holiday. Holiday's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. It's trailed by nine. One twenty-five left in the third quarter. Schroeder against Holiday. Bucket is good. Schroeder's got his second basket of the game. And you know, give Schroeder credit, taking the contact like a man and staying in control. Here's Moral. He's covered by Matthews. There's Portis. That one, no good. So Houston will take it the other way. Martin dishes to Porter. To the inside. Shangun. Great pass to set up the lay-in. And now just a five-point Milwaukee lead. Outside Matthews. 35 seconds left to play in the third. Solid play in the low block, and that one's good. Matthews has got his first bucket of the night. And defensively, these guys are looking for answers. Since halftime, they've seen disjointed and out of sync. They have got to get back that rhythm defensively. Now here's Schroeder.
Takes it from 10. That one off the back iron and out. Outside Matthews. The third quarter comes to a close. Bucks lead by seven. And we'll have the start of a fourth quarter for you as soon as we get back from this short break. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them. And what a beautiful feat. For me, next to the big-time alley-oops and monster throwdowns, passes like that are probably the next best thing when it comes to sweet-looking NBA highlights. It's the fourth quarter. Fourth quarter of action is upon us. Thanks, as always, for joining us. Order in the backcourt with Green to his side. Jay Sean Tate out there with Gordon. And it's Shangun in at the center. That's the five for Houston right now. It's stolen by Green. Left side, Porter. And the call will go against Grayson Allen. Grayson Allen. That's his first foul. His first Chris Middleton's foul. checked in for the Bucks. First team foul. In for the Bucks, Chris Middleton. Stolen by Holiday. Kicks it down to Middleton. Six to shoot. Another shot. And he sinks the layup. Chris Middleton. Middleton's got the lead up to nine now for Milwaukee. And not quite as aggressive from outside as they were in the first half. Sticking to the high percentage shots. Playing smart with the lead. And it's Gordon missing. And so Giannis will bring it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. Here's Allen. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Shooting for Milwaukee. Grayson Allen. Two shots. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good, and the Rockets making a change here. Woods checked in. And Allen drops them both. Just solid. Really one of the very best there is at the free throw line. Outside green. Wood sets a screen. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact. And he'll go to the line for two. That's yeah, good job to take him right at the knee. Yeah, really left him no choice there. I mean, he had the foul and keep him from converting the easy bucket. Jalen Green at the line for two. The first one falls. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Bucks leading by nine. Outside Holiday. Middleton outside. That's to Giannis. Gordon against Middleton. Five on the clock. Over Gordon. And the Bucks miss again. You know, even though they're on top in this one, you'd like him to be better out there because he's capable of being better. It sure would make things a lot easier, too. And he's been a force on the glass all game long. Yeah, I love the way he's fighting through box outs, using his elbows. I mean, he's doing whatever it takes. 
Now here's Middleton. Baseline J on the way. Basket counts. And the Bucks lead by 11. Middleton, a score by nature. That time showing you can find his teammates too. Porter looking it over. Put a screen on Allen. And it's sent back by Lopez. Outside, out of the Kumbo. Middleton with a screen for Giannis. Outside, Holiday. Allen, a screen on Porter. Middleton for three. And the rebound goes to the Rockets. Woods got rebound number 15 here tonight. Gordon against Middleton. Outside Gordon. Wood with the screen for Gordon. Kicks it to Green. From past the arc, the shot will not fall. Now the Bucks take it the other way. After hitting one three in the first half, he's been unable to dial in from deep since then. Bucks passing it around. Here's Lopez. It's pulled in by Wood. Rockets trail by 11. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. Green finds Porter. Wood a screen on Allen. Here's Porter. A rebound by the Bucks. Giannis outside. Pass to Middleton. Adekumbo setting the pick for Middleton. Over Porter. And it's wide right. It's off the rim. Rockets have gone a dismal 0 for 5 to get the fourth quarter underway. Wood passes to Porter. Back to Wood. Had a chance there to cut it to single digits, but it's off target. And here's Holiday who will bring it up for the Bucks. A great fourth quarter, just giving up two points. He kicks to Middleton. And there's the feed to Atatakumbo over Gordon. And Atatakumbo with the basket on the assist by Middleton. Giannis has got the lead up to 13 now for the Bucks. Now a timeout called by Houston. And last season, Middleton adding to his game. Played more of a playmaking role. Great assist numbers. And craziest fans get a free. For Grayson Allen. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Hey guys, here's Steven Silas's message for his team during the last break. He is not pleased, and he told them they have to make a push right now. He said, Look, we got to make a move, or I've got to pull the plug. Pretty blunt stuff, Kevin. Back to you. Thank you, David.
out. Another miss by Houston. Milwaukee leading by 13. Middleton on the wing, defended by Gordon. And Middleton kicks to Connaughton. Back to Lopez. Just five to shoot. No good, shot missing. And Houston the other way now. Pass to Wood. Sent back by Lopez. Lopez showing off the length there to get Still to that shot. Gets ball. And the Bucks making a change here. Portis has checked in. Here's Porter. They get a bet. Four on the clock. There's Green with the three. The rebound by Middleton. Middleton's got four rebounds in this game. And another miss. Oof. He's having a really ugly game. Yeah, about as ugly as you can have. You're right. The pass to Antetokounmpo. Bucks passing it around. Screen by Antetokounmpo. And he gets it to go. And the Bucks lead by 15. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You gotta be tougher defensively. And the wide open shot from Green. Misses and the dry spell continues. Giannis passes to Holiday. Now here's Middleton, headed by Green. Looking to end his cold spell. Eric Gordon grabs the board. Gordon's got rebound number five here tonight. Outside Porter. Outside Green. It's stolen by Andre Takumbo. The wide open look here for Holiday. It's three pointers off the mark. It's trailed by 15. Now here's Gordon. Pass to Wood. And here is Tate. Porter passes to Green. Shot clock at six. Back to Porter. Kicks it to Green. A three ball. It's hauled in by Giannis. Wow, what a rough second half for him shooting the basketball. Maybe you adopt a, a pass first mentality at this point. Releases from 15. And the rebound goes to the Rockets. Gordon's got six rebounds now in the game. They need this one, and it's denied. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Portis. Rockets ball. Allen's checked in for the Bucks. Grayson Allen. Timeout call for Rockets. And guys, aggressive in, in creating his own shots, but thus far, they have not been falling. Probably a, a good time to try and devote some of that energy to getting others involved. And your plus city.
Let's take a look at the new balance player of the game, Giannis Antetokounmpo. And guys, it's been a rugged brand of defense he's played. Uh, I don't know why they keep taking the ball at him. It. It, it seems like every time they have, he's come up with the rejection. And with every block, he's only gotten more and more fired up. And this is exactly what a star player is supposed to do. Coming off a loss, he made sure they weren't going to make it two in a row. Shot clock at three. Gordon up on top to stop the drought. Gordon with another miss. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if he gets yanked soon. I mean, that's how bad his shot selection has been. Giannis dunks it down. How about the springs of this guy, Antetokounmpo, also known as the Creek Freak? I mean, he just gets up off the ground like a rocket on these alley-oop chances. Now here's Gordon. Inside, here's Wood. Doesn't go that time. Great D that time from Portis. And here's Holiday who will bring it up for Milwaukee. 17-point lead, their biggest. Pass to Antetokounmpo. And the double up Antetokounmpo. Allen for three, and he's good on the Racing three ball. Allen. Yes, and, and with this one winding down, it's obvious to everyone who watched it. Just a total mismatch and a true show of strength for the Bucks. As one-sided as it gets today, you know, there were some dominant moments in there about every facet of this game for that team. Yeah, I mean, Kevin, I, it's hard to think of what didn't go right for them. Uh, game planning by the coaches, execution by the players, everything was just on target. And this will be a big win for them. Lucky win number 13 now in the bag. And so they'll take the first game of the season series, a team they'll only see twice. They're certainly happy to start it off with a win. And that next meeting will be their second and final game of the season series being in opposite conferences. So you bet nobody wants to get swept even in the two-game season series. I think the next game will be hotly contested. And something we've come to almost expect is greatness from this guy. Such an overall great performance it was for Giannis Antetokounmpo. Well, he was swatting shots all game long, really owned the defensive end, and got a ton of blocks and really protected that rim. Now Allen, after Jalen Green's three-pointer that didn't go. Here's Holiday. And he makes good on the layup. Holiday. And they came in determined Assisted. to take this one. It's going Allen. to be a happy flight home. Yep. To have a stress-free win on the road, very satisfying. The fans are already headed for the exit. And so it's the Bucks taking care of business in this one. That's the end this of crowd the game. was stunned by the manner in which their team was dismantled. You, you know what? Shocking. Uh, I don't care team. what the matchup is. You, you should never expect the road game. team to come in and just cruise to the kind of win they did tonight. And now let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline for our player of the game. David, take it away. Thanks very much. Giannis, a dominant performance. What is the level that this team is playing at? It's amazing, man. I think uh, the whole group, the whole team played hard. The whole team was ready. Everybody stepped up. And, you know, this is what makes uh, the average uh, team from a great team or a good team. I know you guys are looking for great and not good. Congrats on the win. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and David Alton, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. We'll see you next time.